Good morning, everyone. Happy Lord's Day to you. It is Sunday, and um, we are in Daniel chapter 2, continuing our walk through the book of Daniel. We will be uh, focusing on this particular chapter this morning during worship at 11 o'clock at West Shore, uh, but we're going to begin reading today in verse 1. The Bible says, one night during the second year of his reign, Nebuchadnezzar had such disturbing dreams that he couldn't sleep. He called in his magicians, enchanters, sorcerers, and astrologers, and he demanded that they tell him what he had dreamed. As they stood before the king, he said, I have had a dream that deeply troubles me, and I must know what it means. Then the astrologers answered the king in Aramaic, long live the king. Tell us the dream, and we will tell you what it means. But the king said to the astrologers, I am serious about this. If you don't tell me what my dream was and what it means, you will be torn limb from limb, and your houses will be turned into heaps of rubble. But if you tell me what I dream and what the dream means, I will give you many wonderful gifts and honors. Just tell me the dream and what it means. They said again, please, your majesty, tell us the dream and we will tell you what it means. The king replied, I know what you are doing. You're stalling for time because you know I am serious when I say, if you don't tell me the dream, you are doomed. So you have conspired to tell me lies, hoping I will change my mind. But tell me the dream and then I'll know that you can tell me what it means. The astrologers replied to the king, no one on earth can tell the king his dream. And no king, however great and powerful, has ever asked such a thing of any magician, enchanter, or astrologer. The king's demand is impossible. No one except the gods can tell your dream, and they do not live here among people. The king was furious when he heard this, and he ordered that all the wise men of Babylon be executed. And because of the king's decree, men were sent to find and kill Daniel and his friends. So the book of Daniel is filled with some wonderful stories of uh, faith and and just some some wonderful things that that we can draw from. This is an interesting part of the book because I think if we are if, if we truly take a good look at it, we can relate to this. Uh, I'm sure you, as I have have had uh, dreams that number one, we can't remember what it was. We knew we had a dream and we wake up and it's so fresh and then all of a sudden, poof, it's gone. And then secondly, we've had dreams and we wonder why in the world did I dream that? What, what was that all about? And that is what is happening with Nebuchadnezzar. Now I don't have the answer to, to all of this dream stuff. I know studies are done and, and sleep is measured and all of, all of that stuff. But what I do know is what is taking place here. God is orchestrating the steps of those involved in this narrative for his glory. He is causing Nebuchadnezzar to have these dreams. He is causing Nebuchadnezzar to ask for such an outlandish request, not that, that as if interpreting the dream wasn't enough. He wants his, his magicians to be able to tell him what the dream was, first of all, and then to interpret it. But he is also setting Daniel up so that his name, the name of God, will be glorified. And we'll see later on as we continue through this chapter and as we talk about it this morning in worship that, that Daniel is put in a place where that he can accomplish God's will in his life and begin to, to fulfill the call on his life for one reason and for one reason only, so that the name of God would be glorified. Now, what does that mean for us? Well, I think what we have to hang on to here is the idea that as difficult as, as it sounds sometimes, 
whatever is going on in our life, there's a purpose for it. There's a plan for it. God has orchestrated things so that we will see his hand at work, but above all, that his name, the name of God, the name of the Lord Almighty will be glorified. That's what it's all about. Everything happens for that purpose and for that reason. So let's remember that today. Will you pray with me? Father, thank you for your word as always. And we thank you for um, the book of Daniel as we continue through it and we continue to see um, ourselves in it. Would you come alive in our lives and would you be glorified through our lives, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, I pray you'll join us at 11 o'clock for uh, worship. As I said, we'll be continuing in our series on the book of Daniel, Unshaken in a Shaky World. And today we'll be talking about how God will equip those who he has called. So we hope to see you at 11 o'clock. And until then, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. And may you fall just a little bit deeper in love with Jesus today. Take care. God bless you.